and you won't show up on the on the website when we uh, make the recording available later on. So if you could, lovely, thank you. Uh, if you're on mute, that'd be brilliant. Um, any questions that you might have, and you may well have questions now as we look about the children coming back. If you put the questions into the chat, Mr. Kenner, who's here with me, he'll share those questions, and we'll try to answer those questions in the session. Uh, if you've got questions that are private and just apply to you that you'd rather ask uh, privately, just email those into the school and we'll come back to you with answers or the right person will come back, hopefully with the right answer. Um, okay, we'll make a start. I think we're here, yes? Probably, okay. So, um, so the good news is that uh, the Prime Minister announced at the start of the week what we sort of thought and we predicted was common, which was that the children will return to schools on Monday the 8th of March, so um, Monday week, a week away. And, um, and we've been telling you, I think, in the various calls that we've been having that we expected that news to come. So our planning for the children to return on Monday the 8th of March is pretty well advanced already. And I'm gonna just talk you through a few bits and pieces that will help to get us there for Monday the 8th and a few things that uh, might be slightly different when the children come back to when they left. Um, I think the first thing to say is that it's probably really important now that you talk to your children at home and start to create that uh, sense of the return coming um, because I think it's probably better for children to have that uh, build up and understand that they're getting back to school. So it's, it's sorting out all the basics, isn't it? It's finding all the uniform again, finding the school tie, uh, locating the trousers and the jumpers that they need. And putting all that back together and getting their bag packed and ready to come in, getting their PE kit ready to come back in. Um, the one thing that we really need your help with is all the Chromebooks that we have loaned out, and it's been highly successful using those Chromebooks at home. We need to get them all back in, and it's quite a logistical exercise, as you can appreciate, to set those all back up again, put them all back in the, in the right charging uh, trolleys across the school. So if your child has borrowed a Chromebook, and I think we've got about 120 of our Chromebooks, at least 120 that are shared out with families at the moment, if they can come back next Thursday, that would be really helpful because it means that we can then, on Friday next week, get them all put back together so that when the kids come back in on Monday, it's seamless for them and they can straight back in because there's a, a lot of uh, new cable and check and has to go on the devices before we can use those again. Okay, um, just a reminder, if you have any questions, pop them in the chat for me. Now, the, um, when the kids come back on Monday, the 8th of March, we're really conscious that we've got 18 days with the children up to Easter. So we've got three and a half weeks up to Easter. Not, not a bad thing in some ways, because that gives the children that, that period of time to build back the routines um, that obviously they've lost. You know, just the simple things like where you put the coat in the morning, where you go to play in the morning, and all those things. Um, so we, we're conscious of the 18 days, and the big focus for the school across those 18 days is really going to be around three things, I think. Routines, reading, and um, religion. We'll be covering the whole curriculum, but my focus is on these three things. I want to see that we as a school have got the routines back in place, coming into school and within the classrooms, and that everybody's happy with that, because the routines make a huge difference to the quality of the learning. Um, I want to focus on reading as a school, because I know you've done lots of work around reading, so it's really important that we teach and assess where the children are in their reading attainment at this time. So we'll do that through group reading, we'll do that through some comprehension exercises, lots of different ways to make sure we've got a really good understanding of where everybody is at this time with their reading. And then as we are in the season of Lent, we will be looking at religion and thinking about our preparation as we move towards Holy Week and then most importantly of all, Easter. Um, a couple of things that have changed since um, the children were last in school. Um, all the teaching, well, all the staff, but all the teaching staff uh, in particular, all the staff working in classrooms, have access to and are using lateral flow tests 
you've probably seen these on the news, but they were provided these by the NHS at the beginning of January. It's the one that you stick down the back of your throat, you stick up your nose, and you mix it in a solution. And all the staff working in classrooms are, are testing themselves twice a week for asymptomatic cases of coronavirus. Um, so generally they're doing that on a Sunday before coming in on a Monday, and they're doing it on a Wednesday before coming back in on a Thursday. Um, that's quite a, a, a useful check, and it's been really good that the NHS have made those tests available to staff at this time, and we've been very glad of that, we've taken that offer up. Um, we're going to stop doing temperature checks when the children come in in the morning, and the reason we're going to stop the temperature checks is there's been more guidance that's come out now that's making it clear that that's not a great indicator or not a very reliable indicator of whether or not someone has uh, coronavirus at this time. So we're going to cease with the temperature checks there. Obviously, if we have a child who develops a temperature, we'll take their temperature here in school and do the usual things of contact and use a family. And I know that one of the things you'll watch for at home is high temperature or a continuous cough or just not feeling well because sickness and diarrhea can be indicators of coronavirus too. Um, we're really looking forward to having the children back. Um, it's been too long, and Google Classrooms is lovely, and Tapestry is great, but it's not the same as having children in a school. Um, we're looking forward to having them back, and in the first week when they come back, we're going to do the Great Fire of London event, hopefully, again. And uh, we're going to gather the children together as a school on the playground, all socially distanced from different classes. And that will be quite, for me anyway, that will be quite an important moment for the school that we come back together again. Um, we are looking at how we reconnect with our children. We're looking at how we rebuild this stuff. And we're looking at just how we reignite the children's excitement and interest in their in-school curriculum again. Um, I want to thank you for all the work that you have done and all the support that you have shown to the school over these weeks. It makes a huge difference to the staff um, and I'm really grateful. So thank you for all the kind comments that have been made to the teachers and the teaching assistants. Uh, I'm really grateful and that's kept those staff motivated and kept those staff going. That's all I really have to say today. I'll be back again next uh, Friday at 11. I won't do the questions now. But if we have any other updates for you, we'll obviously provide those to you in the newsletter and the letters we send out next week. But I'll be here next Friday at 11. Mr. Kenner, any questions that are good for the whole group today? Yeah, we've got, uh, so first question, do we have a revised date for the incident date that's postponed in January? It won't be before Easter. So that's the first thing to say. I want those 18 days that I've got the kids before Easter to do these things. So I will look at that date and we'll put that date in. It will be in the summer term but it will not be before Easter, and I will let you know that yet before Easter. Um, next question is, is there any way we can come collect PE kits next week? Uh, yeah, uh, most of the PE kits have gone home, but if you haven't got your PE kit, you just drop an email to the office, just admin at St. Uh, if you drop that email in about your PE kit, then what we'll do, we'll go and gather up and leave it down to the office for you to collect. So absolutely, just drop an email into the office, they'll know to expect it, and they'll have it down there for you. Otherwise, you'll come in and spend a long time waiting as we go down to school to find it. Last question now is, are there any plans for World Book Day? Um, yes and no. We won't be dressing up for World Book Day. That's the first thing to say. Uh, but yes, we are going to celebrate World Book Day. Um, we're uh, hoping, normally the children get a little World Book Day voucher that they can then take to a bookstore to exchange for a book. I think that would be hugely difficult this year. Mainly bookshops are closed and you don't want to take all the kids down to the supermarkets. So we're trying to uh, exchange all our vouchers for a range of these books that they would have got anyway and then offer that to the children in school. But yeah, we'll, we'll be marking more book day here in school. But we'll find out more of that when the kids come back in. But no dress up this year. Um, will there be after school clubs open the uh, So Jacqueline's Gems, the breakfast and after school club, it will come back on the Monday the 8th. I've spoken with Jacqueline's Gems earlier this week. And I just need to liaise with them, but they are intended, and we're very happy to have them back from uh, the year. The after school clubs, like the sports clubs, the football, and the things that we do, they're going to resume after Easter. Uh, and the, the reason behind that is uh, as part of this social distancing, we have to make sure we've got the spaces that we can use. Um, so I need to understand how my spaces are being used around the school 
and then bring back those clubs. The intention is that we offer a wide range of after-school clubs after Easter. Once again, I just need to make sure I understand who's where and when. But Jacqueline Sam's breakfast after school is back in the year. Any other questions today? Uh, all our questions. I love it. I hope you have a really good uh, weekend. I hope the last week of remote learning goes well. If you've managed to survive this long and you haven't killed each other, well done. It'd be an awful shame to lose it in the last week. So keep your patience. Um, keep going. And we look forward to seeing the kids on the 8th of March. Thank you.